you asked for it, and here it is. Today on the Spicy Apron Cooking Show, we are going to learn how to make my famous meatloaf in the Instant Pot. And yes, you're going to learn a couple of tricks that I use to make it perfect every single time. And you will even please the most discerning of meatloaf eaters. My sister's father-in-law, he's kind of picky about his meatloaf. And guess what? Even he loves it. You gotta love meatloaf in the Instant Pot. What used to be a weekend specialty can now be put on your weeknight dinner list because it's ready in about 45 minutes. But there are a few tips that will take your meatloaf from meatloaf to meatloaf. One of those tips is to saute the flavorful veggies that are gonna go in your meatloaf. And the wonderful thing is, yes, you can saute in your Instant Pot. I love that. What you need to do is press the saute button and it will fire up that cycle. Uh, it'll default to 30 minutes, which is always way more than enough time. And you wait until it says hot on the display. Once it's hot, we are ready to saute. So I have just a little bit of olive oil that I'm gonna pour into the pot and I'm gonna add my onions and celery and carrots. And we are gonna saute these up. I like to add a little bit of salt and pepper. I will also be adding salt and pepper to the meatloaf, of course. And you're gonna give these a good stir. Now, let's talk about this little spatula thing that came with the Instant Pot. When I first opened my Instant Pot and I saw the utensils that came with it, I kind of laughed. I'm like, really, this little plastic thing? That's what they send with this wonderful appliance? But it didn't take me long to realize it is the perfect shape for the bottom of the Instant Pot pan. So honestly, I highly recommend it. Use your utensils. I'm gonna stir these up and get them soft for about three or four minutes, and then we're gonna make the rest of the meatloaf. They're almost soft enough to add to the meatloaf, but make sure to add a couple of cloves of garlic. That makes a big difference in the end flavor of your meatloaf. All right, so now that the veggies and garlic are nice and soft and perfect to go into the meatloaf, I'm gonna season the meat just a little bit with salt and pepper. I told you I was gonna do that, salt. And now we're gonna turn off the saute function. So you just hit the red cancel button and we're gonna mix the veggies into the meat. And this can be a little bit warm. It's obviously not too hot because I'm holding it. And just dump your veggies in. Now, the other secret to having fabulous meatloaf that people will talk about for years is I don't just use ground beef. I use half ground beef and half spicy Italian sausage. And that is what gives this meatloaf the wow factor. To the sausage and hamburger meat, Oh, and if you're looking for the full recipe, down below I'll have a link to the spicyapron.com. It'll go right to the recipe. And if you want to see more of my Instant Pot videos and recipes, just hit the subscribe button below. Now, to the meat and the veggies, I'm going to add a couple of eggs lightly mixed and a half a cup of barbecue sauce. Feel free to use your own homemade. This is jarred. It's actually really good. Green onions. The white part and the green part, a half a cup of cream, which is another secret, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Hey, I actually, I think I said it right that time. One cup of breadcrumbs. These are Italian breadcrumbs. Feel free to make your own or use the regular plain kind. Last little secret. I do like to put a little bit of hot pepper sauce, Tabasco, Chalu is also good. I've done that. So add several shakes of that. And that is it. Now we are ready to mix it up. I use my hands, uh, it gets messy and dirty, and by the way, it is the only thing I will take off my wedding ring for because it gets so yucky stuck inside. Actually, I take that back. I also take my wedding ring off when we go sailing because I don't want to lose a finger. Go ahead, use your hands, get them dirty. It's kind of the only way to really mix it, and you want to mix it well, but you don't want to over mix it. Otherwise it will be kind of tough. So I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to wash the pan and then we're going to assemble it and put it in. Okay. I've got the meatloaf mixed. I've got my pan clean. I've got my trivet in the pan, which you need. And I am adding one cup of water. And technically this is three quarters of a cup because this is what came with the unit, but it works perfectly fine. And we're going to put the meatloaf on tin foil to shape it properly and then put it in the pot. So that's what we're doing next. Now, obviously, 
the Instant Pot is round, so your normal pans that you might use for your meatloaf will not fit in the Instant Pot. So just do freeform, which frankly, this is the way I do it in the oven. I do a freeform meatloaf, wish it to whatever size I want, and then I'm gonna stick it in the pot. All right, that looks about right for this pot. I am using the three quart Instant Pot uh, because I just wrote an Instant Pot authorized cookbook that is coming out in a couple of months. So I tend to use my three quart most of all. So it's a little bit of a tight squeeze for the three quart, but it'll work perfectly. Now you just kind of stick it in there, put the tin foil up. I drizzle just a little bit more of the barbecue sauce on top. I will also do that when it comes out and we serve it up. Just put the lid on and now you're going to hit pressure cook for 30 minutes and then we'll be with you. Oh, don't forget to make sure the knob is turned toward sealing. You want to seal all the pressure in here so you get a wonderful, juicy, awesome meatloaf. Well, it's time to release the pressure. Now I let it sit for eight to 10 minutes after the timer counted down to 30. That is called a natural release. If you need more information about that, I've got a video. Uh, it's the top five tips for Instant Pot success. So there won't be much pressure left, if any. So let's go ahead and turn the knob to venting. No more pressure left. That was a full natural release. And now we can open the pot and look at our beautiful meatloaf oh yay yay it's right there it's perfect all right we are going to carefully lift it out using the foil it's a little bit heavy be careful set it on your cutting board look at how beautiful it is time to serve this bad boy up we're going to drizzle a little bit more of this barbecue sauce and then i'm going to top it with some green onions and there you have it let me get a, oh wait, I can put my wedding ring back on, which is pretty good because I feel kind of naked without it. All right, let me serve this up. I'm gonna get a big old chunk out of the front here so you can see it. That is so moist, you can't even believe it. Look at that meatloaf, holy cow. Let's just get that other little piece on there. It is perfectly done. A few more green onions for good measure and this is why my meatloaf is famous. And if you want more comfort food recipes, make sure to check out my video on barbecue ribs. Happy cooking.